Hi, I'm Danny Boyle, you're watching Mariners TV. Well done, we're through the first round of the FA Cup, the first time in the club's history since the reform in 1974. What does it mean to everyone? Just, uh, obviously, delight, elation, first first and foremost, um, pride, obviously, in, in, in the lads' performances today, big hearts, big characters. Um, and we obviously said that to them before the game, that that's what we needed and they give us it in abundance. So, um, yeah, all those all those emotions, um, but like I say, the... Uh, me and one's just elation to get into that first round proper and um, we're, we're really looking forward to the draw on Monday. The result's fantastic but the performance itself against a really good National League side must have filled you with so much pride. Yeah, um, look, we, we had a good look at them. I know they were at our game on Tuesday so they've had a good look at us but um, we knew they carried a threat. You know, Jamie Allen's a good player, he's a handful. Um, they've got two very, very good wing backs, they've got three good midfield players. Um, and we knew they would pose a, pose a threat to us, but um, on the whole during the game I thought we created more problems than they did. So you could say second half that we conceded territory, we, um, we let them have a lot of the ball in possession, um, but Milo, apart from a couple of punches, didn't really have much to do, so we defended our box exceptionally well. And we always carried a, a threat, with, particularly with Darius today, who was absolutely on fire. I thought he was magnificent from start to finish, he was strong. He was a nightmare to play against and um, we were absolutely delighted with him getting, getting a goal. We created a lot of chances in that first half when the score was at 0-0. Did you fear at any stage that might be one of, one of those days again? Well, you do, Dan, because we're, we're going through one of them situations at the minute where we're creating chances and we're just just not getting the goals that we deserve. Um, so yeah, I think the moment where we thought it might be one of them days is when obviously Jason scored and, and he's flagged offside. We'll have a look at that one to see whether it was or not. But um, yeah, maybe those thoughts started creeping in. But um, once we got that first goal, fantastic delivery off, off Kempy and um, time of movement off Darius and what a leap and, and finish. Um, so yeah, once we got that one, we uh, we had a lot of confidence that we could go on to win the game. You mentioned Darius here, so strong all, all the way through that game. How big was he for you today? He was brilliant. He's, when you play up against, ultimately we're playing two against their three. Um, so they've always got a, a spare man. Um, and again, I think he created one before where he skipped past the defender. Um, we nearly scored at the far post where he's flipped it over the top of the keeper. Um, and they cleared it off the line. Um, I just think it posed a real threat to them all day. Like I said before, strong, direct, um, and uh, not, not nice to play against. And the second goal, magnificent from Briggs. He had a really good 10 minute spell before that goal. A great game overall, but that 10, ten minutes before that goal, he really sort of stood up, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Look, we, uh, I thought Briggs was magnificent. Like everybody today, you know, you don't want to single individuals out because everyone played their part. But um, Briggs was very, very strong that day. And um, again, playing in, in an unusual position, there's not many players who can play 10 and, uh, and centre back, but Briggs can do that. He's very versatile. He's got good understanding of the game and we, we know we've seen year on year that he's technically very, very strong. Um, so when he's, he's cut inside there on his left peg, we weren't surprised that it nestled in the bottom corner. Quite a game for Jamie Sturry to make his debut as well. How impressed were you with his performance there? Yeah, look, when you've, I think Jamie hasn't played for nigh on 11 months now, 10, 11 months, something like that. Um, when your first game is of such magnitude um, for our football club, um, when the pitch is so heavy, uh, he's obviously what it, what it shows is professionalism that um, he's looked after himself to put himself in a position where he can actually get through 85, 80, 85 minutes, whatever he did. Yes, he's he's very sore and his legs are tired, um, but it's just a, a mark of his professionalism that he could he could do that after a 10 month layoff. Yeah, well, no, it's a massive shame that we couldn't have a massive crowd in here today. But the three you know, that were here really made a massive noise, didn't it? And it must have really helped yeah, the team. Yeah, Lee, Lee's just brought that up in the in the changing room. That, um, it didn't feel like 300. Um, I thought they were absolutely magnificent today. Um, you know, we uh, we obviously give them something to shout about because I thought we were good, but they just helped us from start to finish, and um, we're obviously delighted that we uh, we've got into that first round proper, and, and, and hopefully we'll have a few drinks to celebrate tonight. And on Monday night, obviously the draw for the first round be made. To see South Shields name in that. What will that mean to everyone? Do you think? Yeah, listen, it's massive. Um, we don't want to stop here though. Like, so we can talk about like. We're in the first round proper, why not go second, third round, you know? Um, I was fortunate enough to beat Blythe Spartans when we got the third round proper against Blackburn Rovers, so what's to say we don't get a Premier League side here at the first cloud? Um, obviously we'll, we'll see what the draw brings, um, we need a little bit of luck, hopefully we'll be back here for the next round. Um, so yeah, we will obviously have, uh, have, have an eye on it on, on, on Monday, but we've, we've also brought up to the lads in the dressing room that, um, listen, we look forward to that, but. Um, we also have to have our, our whole focus on Tuesday night in the, in the next league game. 
If United come here on Tuesday, how much confidence will today give the team dealing going to that one? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, look, we know we've played well for the last four games now. Yes, the, the points tally and the results haven't been quite what they should have been. Um, but hopefully that, getting over the line today, scoring a couple of goals, and like I say, Milo not having a great deal to do. Um, hopefully it'll give huge confidence to go, right, come on lads, we'll, we'll go on a really good run in the league now. Um, and we have to do that. That's a big game in itself, isn't it? Tuesday against FC United, a team that really pushed us all away last season. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, they're, they're a good side, you know. Renault, Renault has them organised. Um, they've obviously lost their main man from last year, in Tundi. Um, but uh, they'll, they'll pose a threat. They're, uh, they're not a bad side at all. But we have to impose ourselves on the game. They've got to travel across from the northwest. Um, like I say, the pitch will probably be really, really heavy again, so it'll take big hearts, big characters once again to, to get over the line. Um, but we are 100% um, confident in the group of players we've got. Just finally looking ahead to Monday's draw, is it all about getting the home tie? Do you think is that the main sort of priority for you? Um, something in the way wouldn't be bad. I think that would be a decent one. But um, yeah, look, we, uh, we just, we, I think we, if we could get a home draw, that would be magnificent. Um, obviously, we. Uh, you're now looking at one of the big teams in the in the competition to get that kind of hopefully a, a little bit more exposure for the football club or one of the, the kind of smaller teams left in the league and, and like I say hopefully progress through another uh, few rounds yet so um, yeah we'll see what it brings and uh, we're looking forward to that draw.